Alrighty. I promised you something filthy. And it's only going to be filthy if your mind is soiled. Now with me, of course, my mind is as white and pure as driven snow. All right, all right, driven over year after year. I know, I hear ya. Oiled, tarmac, salted, and potentially with a little bit of dog hazard, but yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, here's the dealio. I'm only gonna show you one because the tail is just like the neck. Now, most people, when they build it, they throw these tiny little necks. Who's gonna be a dragon? A small, wicked dragon. And it needs a big, thick neck. So what I'm gonna do is I need to open this up into a very uh, truncated cone. And I'm gonna make the bottom thick because I'm gonna cut that off and that's going to be working the muscles of the wings and things. So the first thing I'm gonna do this time, I'm gonna open it all the way to the bottom like a big clay donut. Okay, because we're gonna make a tube basically. I had a master, Master Shannon, he was a master at throwing tubes, not just vertical, but he used to throw tubes around the piece, it was beautiful. I never did get the technique of that without cursing in class. I sucked at it really, because he used to get it like, oh I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch thick, and they wouldn't collapse. I'd be working like an inch thick, you could club a small orphan to death with that sucker and it would still collapse. No insult to any of you good orphans out there. I just happen to be thinking of you at this point. I could have said Girl Scouts, but I love your cookies. Speaking of which, while I'm doing this, because I don't need to watch my hands, I was accosted by the little green munchkins earlier. Oh yes, I was coming out of a nice grocery store, minding my own business, trying to lose weight, drinking like the green machine and good healthy food. Would you like to buy some cookies, sir? It's a siren song. I know what it is. It calls my fat ship into the rocks, is what it does. When you look at their sweet, innocent faces, what could you do? You had no choice. And unfortunately with me, again, I'm a giving person. Not just with viruses, either. Nope. And I had to buy three boxes. And I've already eaten one and a workie on the other. Because I figured it's, I could never keep it straight. Is it starve a cold and feed a fever, starve a fever, feed a cold? So my attitude is I just keep shoving things in my face until I feel better. So you are hiding the Thin Mints from me. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, I am. But I got to tell you, and this is no insult to you Girl Scouts out there, but for you Thin Mint foodies like myself, because trust me, when I'm on my deathbed, I want frozen Thin Mints and milk as one of my last meals. I want the box, the whole box. There's only one problem. The Thin Mints, either my taste buds have changed because I'm old and decrepit, or they've changed the bloody recipe. But the Keebler Elves don't make a Thin Mint. No, no, no. They're called Grasshoppers. And I got to tell you, tune into our channel and let me hear your taste buds sing out. Are they as good or better than Thin Mint cookies? That's what I want to know. Now, Girl Scouts, do not be upset with me, because bottom line, I'll always support you. After all, I was a Girl Scout mascot. My mother was a, was a den mom. And when I was young, under, let's see, the only one I'm really remembering off the top was Kitty Johnson was one of the Girl Scouts there. And I got to be the mascot at the Girl Scout camp. Well, until I got older and liked it entirely too much. And then I wasn't allowed anymore. So up we go, up we go, up we go. Told you it looks filthy. I hear the sniggering back there and the giggles. You are filthy. I like that in a person. Now, last thing we gotta do, because that's about the thickness of the neck, because the head's gonna be about that big sculpted. And you have to always have the component parts in your mind as you're building. I'm gonna go in with my rubber, and I'm going to begin to take out that rough area, you see that, how the rough area stops and starts straightening up? That's the key. Now some potters out there are like, no, no, you don't do it that way. And, oh yes, I do. And I'll tell you why, because I built a whole lot of these suckers. And if I don't have the extra wall in here, that thicker wall, when I fire it, her head goes from beautiful and majestic to kind of depressed and funky. We don't want that. 
So that's why I do that. And I have belly scales. So I have to have something I can cut into. Now, in the past, you use a garrote to get it out. You don't do that. What you do is you take your needle and you jam it on through. See? Thick. Nice and thick. Now I'll carve out some of that with a knife later. But nice and thin on the top. Aye? It's through the wormhole. That's just the wrong way to hold it. Alrighty, well, uh, I am going to get my diseased self to throw one more of those, and then I'm going to bed. Well, yeah, I technically should go to bed, but I want to check the eyelets to wait a minute. It's almost 10 o'clock. I turn into a pumpkin at 10 o'clock, son, and I have to be fresh and invigorated for my students tomorrow. Perky, one might even say. All right. Well, it's been a pleasure this evening. <clears throat> Forgive me, it's gross, but it has to happen. You be well.